What up players, it's Warboss tear up in this mud, trying to set out something new for today's unboxing. It's, um, it's a different setup that I have, I, I don't have a tripod yet, but this is just a temporary setup until I have a tripod. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Um, uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed so my camera doesn't fall down on off of the stack of boxes that I have it resting on right now. But today, I've got for you a Lizardman Saurus Old Blood for the Lizardman Army in Warhammer Fantasy. And um, what we're going to do today in this video is I'm going to show you, first of all, the instructions and the frame, and then we are going to put it together in real time, because I've got both of my hands, I won't cut away, and then I'll show you the finished product ready for priming and spraying. Okay, so first thing, let me show you what the instructions on the back look like. Uh, it's got a little bit of a focus here. We can focus. No? It says it's busy. Okay, alright, well, maybe not. Maybe I can only focus when, when I am um, not recording. Okay, valuable lesson to learn. Um, let's see if I can do it a little bit. Uh, manual focus. There we go. Okay, so there might still be a little bit of a shaky cam thing going on while I figure this out. All right, so these are the different parts of the model shown on the the 3D imager and how to put them together. So I'm going to be following the instructions: number one, then gluing on number two to number one, then three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and finally on the base. So let's take a look at the base, shall we? Or not the base, but the entire sprue. Uh, gotta get a camera that auto focuses. Okay, so you've got everything comes on one sprue in this nice hard plastic, and I'm really interested with the molded base. It has a little bit of the uh, a Temple of Lustria molded onto it, which is really cool, really interesting. It's gonna have your Saurus Old Blood um, standing on the steps of it. And um, when it's finally built together, it has a little bit of a height. So I think that's really awesome. Okay, and um, looks like the head is in a couple different pieces. The torso and the body is in two different pieces here, is the back with the spines. It's really great, so really interested to put it uh, put this baby together. Yeah, there we go. Seems to be auto-focusing now. Very well, let's see if it'll still do it if I back up a bit. Yeah, focus, focus, detect, detect. No. Uh. So first thing I'll do is cut out the molded base. skulls on it. Um, it's got a little groove for the foot to um, slot into the base, so that's really cool. And of course, you should have your instructions in front of you so you can see what you're doing and what each piece looks like. Two is the second leg. Okay, there we go. Get a little rhythm going. Right, so I've got my with cement for plastic models, the fine tip applicator. So I'm going to attach or glue that. And it seems to be stuck. Okay, so if the glue is stuck, 
most of these that you buy come with these uh, little metal rod things that you can use to clean out the barrel of the applicator. And that's awesome. Okay, there we go. So first we are attaching the leg to the body. Oh, I wish Lewis was here. Provide some good commentary. Tell me I'm doing it all wrong and get off his lawn. Okay, so one is glued to two. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the upper torso with the horns on the back to um, the two sides of the head as well as um, the right arm which is holding the axe. is the upper torso. The, uh, the amount of detail that Games Workshop is getting onto, onto these single kits, like for example my Nurgle Lord, if you remember him from a while back, as well as the Dark Elf Sorceress, all of the models that were released with the Storm of Magic, um, really, really high quality stuff. So six and seven are the Slaris's head. I might run out of film soon. If I do, then I'll stop and erase some. Oh my gosh, are my arms really that hairy? Sorry. It's my Jokero Weaponsmith bloodline. Okay, interesting that uh, seven pieces. You know, with these models, you don't get any freedom as a modeler or a converter there's pretty much only one way that these models fit together and you are going to abide by that young man so number three fits pretty much directly onto onto the rest of the body I'm sorry if uh, some of these shots or some of the some of this goes out of shot I'm having a hard time getting used to filming um, looking at the screen while trying to concentrate on keeping the model in frame, in focus, so these first couple videos might be a little bit out of it. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the head next. First check to make sure that the mold lines are not obnoxious and won't interfere. who do um, live unboxings and painting videos. I'm gonna have to pick up some tips from you guys on how you do these. So I'm gonna apply the glue uh, right on the insides, of course. And in areas that look like they connect to the other side, like in holes or pockets that look like they slot into other uh, into their matching piece. Yeah, if Lewis was here, I could ask him how his New Year was. What he did. Oh, check this out. Okay, so you've got your lizardman body here, and your head is here. It's got this hole in it perfectly slots in and then there's a groove for you to add your plastic glue right on the inside of the necklace or collar of the head you need to slot it right through there you go so our guy is almost done so we're gonna add his hammer hammer time so I'm gonna shave off noxious mold lines and flash, which on this one there wasn't really too much of, which is good. Then 
then there's the slot for gluing. The great thing about um, plastic cement is that it dries pretty, or uh, it doesn't dry quickly, it actually takes a while to dry, but um, once you stick two pieces together, it forms almost an immediate bond, I've noticed, which plastic glue does not do. Plastic glue uh, forms a tighter bond sooner, but initially you're going to have to really hold two pieces together, which if you have small delicate pieces they are a little bit more sensitive to you you're gonna have to really press them together and hold them okay so I'm gluing on the arm with the shield and the arm with the shield is molded in such a way that you are really going to not have too much trouble finding out how to fit it the um, there's a groove in it that slots Pretty, pretty easily into into the arm, so there's only one way that it can really comfortably fit. So I guess that's that's good. Except that all your models, all these models are going to look the same, right? So there's our built model. Now we're going to put them, oops, onto the base. So sorry about that, my camera pretty much died once it got to uh, 11 minutes something, but here is the finished model, and let's hold it up by what it's supposed to be. So as you can see, there's basically only really one kind of pose you can give him, like I said, but um, it's a great pose, there's so much detail, there's some mold lines, there's uh, not really any flash, just some mold lines near the center of the model that you're going to need to take care of. Let's see if we Zoom in. There we go. Um, but yeah, great model. Look at all those skulls, details. I love the velociraptor feet. Um, really beautiful sculpt. And I'm glad Lizardman got something in this um, recent. Well, not recent. Came with, this came out with the Nurgle Lord, but. Um, you know, it's more than the Bretonians or Wood Elves got in a long while, so... So, it's a great model for the Lizardman players. Look at him coming down the steps. Awesome. Um, and uh, just a great model overall to have in your collection if you are more of a collector like I am. I know that if and when I do start painting him up, I'd love to do some jungle-themed kind of basing work, maybe some tall grass. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just, this is a beautiful sculpt, really creative looking. I love the Aztec kind of feel towards it. Oh yeah, the reason why I wanted to do this as my initial unboxing is because since it's uh, right at the start of 2012, we've got that uh, end of the world prophecy that everyone's talking about, so uh, I thought I might do this with the Mayan, the whole Mayan calendar influence, so hope you liked it, hope you got a little bit of inspiration from it, um, hope if you haven't purchase this model yet or you don't have it in your collection, especially Lizardman players, you got a feel for kind of what the model is and how it is to put together. Like I said, it, it, this was a breeze to put together. I did it on camera and um, it took me like basically, you know, once I stopped yapping and actually got down to it, like a, 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 I would say approximately 10 minutes to build the thing. So. So great model to have and build, uh, especially if you have a Lizardman army. Um, maybe don't even use it as as Osaurus Old Blood if you just want to have a different looking model for your champion in your Temple Guard unit. This would be a great one to have. Okay, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.